87 cents. That's how much a woman working full time makes for every dollar or euro a man makes on average across the OECD. This gender wage gap is a stubborn problem. And it gets even wider when we talk about the total earnings women and men take home in a year because women tend to spend fewer hours in paid work than men do. Now, we know that women have made huge gains in education and in labor force participation over the past few decades. So why does the gender pay gap persist? There are a few reasons. First, women are more likely to work in lower paying fields such as caregiving and service sector jobs. A second factor, though it's harder to measure, is discrimination. And this has been shown in experimental research. And third, we know from time use data that in every country in the world, women still do far more unpaid work than men do. More cooking, more cleaning, more childcare, more elder care. And this hugely limits the time women can spend working outside the home, how much they can earn, and how far they can advance professionally, especially if they face inflexible work hours. OECD governments are tackling the problem through practical steps, like equal pay legislation and pay transparency policies at companies. And these measures are helping. But if we really want to close the gender wage gap, we need to see it as part of a holistic approach to gender equality. This means offering, for example, more parental leave for fathers and good quality, affordable childcare and out-of-school supports. In the end, governments can really only ensure equal opportunities and equal pay for equal work by helping women and men have equal footing at home.